Hey, what's up, lifelong learners? So today we're gonna be talking about the small rig cage for the Osmo Action. I grew up pretty hood and I was asked to join gangs but always respectfully declined. Why? Because I was a schoolboy. I knew that education was my way out of the hood. At age 25, I started my dream job as an educator. Since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. All right, so today I wanna to upgrade this setup right here to a cage that has two different cold shoe mounts. Okay, now when you buy this cage, make sure you're looking for that number right there, that CVD number. Yeah, take a screenshot of this and order that one. So the first thing you need to know about this cage is that it has these little screw things that flips it open like this, okay? And you're gonna have to put this little screw right here in there. If you look carefully here, I have this spun on to the back plate. So now you cannot unhinge this off anymore. For me personally, I would just leave it in the cage and have a battery grip and charge and keep this Osmo Action charge throughout my whole day of vlogging. So links to all this stuff are in the descriptions below. So I'm going to set this up right now and I'll show you what it looks like when I upgrade this vlogging setup, which is super small, super compact, into what you're about to see. The next thing I'm gonna mount onto this is the filter thread so that I am able to put a filter that is a polarizer or an ND filter to be able to do specific kinds of photography or slow down my shutter speed when I'm shooting in the sun. But that's more advanced stuff. I'm not gonna talk about that stuff. I just wanna get you an idea to understand how the filter works and then I'll make another training tutorial for that stuff a lot later. So make sure you, uh, you do with that little guy right there. See that little guy? Do that <laughs> if you wanna learn more from me. These are the tools and screws that are sent to you to be able to put the filter thread on. So I'm gonna put the filter thread on right now. Okay, so you can see right here, I have the filter thread put on. And so now I'm going to rig this up a little bit more so that I'm able to put this on the bottom of this Osmo Action. The reason why you have this specific case is so that you are able to place and remember that number I told you earlier, how to order, like which number to order, that CV number, that is very specific to this adapter because of the way it's uh, created. When I plug it in, it's going to be very snug, just like this. And that is going to help hold this adapter in place very well where it won't wiggle or jiggle. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rig this up and see what it looks like for my all day vlogging setup. All right, so as you can see here, I have a light that is mounted onto one of the cold shoe and a mic, my Sakani Tiny that I've been sent to review, is mounted to the other cold shoe. And I avoided using the finger thread that was sent to me with this whole package because I really don't wanna put it on <laughs> because it just makes my life easier to just have the setup looking like this. So yeah, don't forget links to all this stuff are in the descriptions below. But the cool thing about this is I am able to put a filter thread on here if I wanted to um, uh, not have to switch out the original lens. Okay, so the other thing that's great about this setup is you are able to charge this all day long. Unfortunately, you cannot see the light up here to let you know that it's charging, but you can read the back of the Osmo Action and it is saying charging. If you see the battery in the back, it'll say charging. On second thought, I take that back. You can see the LED right by the power button right there. This tripod right here spreads out. When I need to place it down and not hold it anymore, I can place it down. And then when I need it, I'll just hold it back up again and this is gonna be charging all day long while I'm vlogging. The other option is to also charge the Sokani Tiny or the Rode Wireless Go that I'm wearing right now to get better audio. The other option is to actually take this out and use the Rode Mic Micro like this where you don't have to worry about battery life or anything because you can record with this all day long because the camera is going to provide phantom power to 
this mic and then you can be recording all day long. This is a really interesting option to use for all day long vlogging. Hey everybody, this is a vlogging test of me walking around my classroom and I have the Rode Mic Micro on here. So if you look to the, look this side, I can, so, you see it pop, you see it <laughs> when I'm shaking? There's like a little extension of the cold shoe, a little bit farther away. So that way it is outside uh, the frame and I am not going to have this, you know, hairy ball right here <laughs> on the, I guess the left side of the frame, I'm assuming, or the right side of the frame, yeah. So I'm just walking around my classroom, testing this audio. Let me know what you guys think of the Rode Mic Micro Audio. And it is an audio that will be powered by the Osmo Action. So you don't have to worry about powering this thing on all day long as if you were to power the Rode Wireless Go that you're hearing from my Canon EOS RP. So I'm gonna end it right here and uh, finish the video with you guys. Keep watching. <laughs> So after disassembling everything, I found something that I did not like, which is that the filter thread was actually blocking some of my front facing camera. So the front facing screen is what I need for when I'm vlogging. So I'm not going to put that filter thread on and I'm going to actually buy uh, different filter threads to put on here if I choose to. But really, I, I kind of like it is the way it is already. And I'm going to actually use uh, my GoPro to do like B-roll type stuff and, b-roll type stuff and photography and all that so this is my main vlogging walking around talking camera because of that front facing screen is small it's light and it's non-threatening to people who are you know afraid of big cameras <laughs> you know it's all this whole psychological thing for some people but yeah i i i really am happy with this small rig uh cage for the osmo action and make sure I want to stress this for like the third, fourth, fifth time. Buy the one that allows you to attach the mic adapter. That number is very specific to this cage. So yeah, be warned. Don't buy the wrong one. All right, so that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And I'm going to say goodbye with, here we go. Ready? One, two, rock. One, two, paper. One, two, peace. Let's hang out again in 2020.